Today is an extraordinarily important day for the World Intellectual Property Organization because Indonesia, the fourth most populous country in the world, has acceded to the Beijing Treaty on Audiovisual Performances, uh, becoming the 30th contracting party and bringing that treaty into force in three months' time. So this is a, a huge event for WIPO, having a new treaty in force. It's a huge event for multilateralism and it's a huge event for the audiovisual sector and in, partic in particular actors. Indonesia has an extraordinarily vibrant creative economy. The Beijing Treaty will add to the protection uh, of those actors' performances uh, and it will join an international community. I'd like to thank Indonesia for this extraordinarily important uh, step that it's taken. It's in line with a number of steps that Indonesia has taken in the last several years, uh, joining a number of the multilateral uh, treaties of the World Intellectual Property Organization, and it's, a, it's another sign of the commitment of Indonesia to multilateralism. We are very privileged that we are the 30th ratification, and it will trigger the entry into force of the Beijing Treaty. It reflects the commitment and the support of Indonesia uh, to the Beijing Treaty, to the provision contained therein, as well as to the spirit behind the treaty. So Indonesia put uh, great importance actually to the creative economy. And we thought that performance is one of the, should be included in the economic industry, uh, creative economy industry. So we would like to ensure that our performance will enjoy the same rights and protection compared to others' performance in the world. And Beijing Treaty, of course, make it available. So I think uh, we are very glad that finally we can ratify the Beijing Treaty uh, so we can protect the economic and moral rights of our performance.